Most college freshmen are just trying to find their way around campus, but ASU freshman Colton Gerhardt is adjusting to playing two college sports. It's something I've been doing my whole life, so uh, it didn't feel too different for me. I mean, it's it's a little awkward, maybe the first couple of days, trying to get used to the guys, maybe get myself assimilated with them. Colton Gerhardt excelled in both football and baseball at Vista Marietta High School in California. He wanted to continue to play both sports at a collegiate level, and Arizona State offered him that opportunity. Gerhardt is the first ASU football player since Brandon McGee in 2011 to also hold a spot on the school's baseball roster. Splitting his time between the two sports presents some unique challenges, but Gerhardt and his coaches are getting used to it. It's probably tough on both teams trying to let me play both sports, knowing I'm taking some of their time and some of the uh, football and baseball's time away from them and trying to develop me as a good, uh, a great student athlete. But. They've both been really understanding in the process. Colton Gerhardt may not get the same amount of batting reps as most of the players on the baseball team because of his football obligations, but skipper Tracy Smith noticed that Gerhardt is one of the last ones to leave the baseball facility. Heard the, the, the ping in the cages and this was late and there was one guy in there hitting and it was him, you know, alone. So that stuff's going to pay off. Although the transition has been good for Gerhardt, he has some good advice for anyone trying to follow in his footsteps. You have to get used to being sore and really know how to understand your body and what it's saying to you. You have to stretch a lot, uh, ice things that don't really hurt just because they might hurt tomorrow and you had no idea they were going to. Gerhardt has already made history at ASU in batting practice. Before the season began, he was the first ASU baseball player to hit a home run in the team's new Phoenix Municipal Stadium home. From Phoenix with Cronkite News, I'm Tyler Sudarth.